that's what I do to change my blades. To me, it's just, I don't have a good floor jack. I got the little stupid, uh, I don't know, scissor jack for my truck, but it doesn't lift up the mower high enough for me to get underneath it. So I just pull it up like that. Gives me enough room to bust off the blades on one side, then I gotta move this to the other side of the trailer and do it to the other side. I know, I need to get a cordless so that I can take it with me and change blades on the fly. But this is what I got for now. It works, whatever. Right now I got the mulching blades on there, but I'm gonna take those off. I'm gonna put these on there. These are high lift, high lift blades. And I've tried just your stock blades. I've tried the mulching blades that are, you know, they're just like curved differently. Like the ones that are on there, I think. No, I got the gator blades on there with the three like spikes that come up there and these high lift blades. And in my opinion, these are my favorite. I think they cut the best, at least on my mower anyway. The mulching blades are what I got now, but I think these are my favorite. I think they leave the best cut on my mower. So we're about to put these on. These are what I just took off. I'm still gonna sharpen them, keep them, save them for next time, but for now I'm just gonna put these on. All right, so I don't know how good you can see that. I don't know how important it is to come all the way up, but I always just get that that edge. See if I can get a good angle, good view of it. It's hard to focus on it, but it feels sharp. It's not rounded and dull. So it's good enough for me. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that'll criticize it, but it works for me. Alright, so I got a call from a, well, one of my customers gave me, gave my contact information 
to this church. I'm not, of course, I'm not going to tell you what church it is, but it would definitely be the biggest property that I would do if I got it. All I have is houses, but um, I'll show you it without trying to show you the name of it. But um, here, let me turn the camera around. All right, we got grass here in the front a little bit. We got the grass on the side. It doesn't go all the way to the tree line because that's not all the property, I guess. You got what, those set of bushes there, the grass in the front. You can see where the grass is at in front of the building. You got some bushes there. You got this grass in the front here. Of course, you got all this, all this driveway that needs to be blown off. I'll show you here. You got all that concrete that needs to be blown off. This, you got grass here in that little courtyard. See, right up in there. All this concrete blown off. Grass here. And little spots in between because there's a preschool here and a little in the back I'm actually nervous to give the quote right now because I've never done anything on that scale before I've never done something that big um, so I honestly I don't even know where to start with the price there they're taking other bids. I'm not the only person right now that they're getting a bid from. So I don't want to be, I want it. You know, I, I would love to have that. It'd be my biggest one. It'd be a good start for doing something that big. You know, get me out of just houses. It'd give me like a commercial feel. But I don't want to, I want to be competitive with the price. I don't want to screw myself over by lowballing it. But I also don't want to, go crazy high and they say no way you know so I, I really don't even know what to do I told her I'd get back with her later today on a price we'll see just by what you've seen maybe ballpark what, what are you guys thinking give me help me out here give me ideas before I got to call her back this evening